beautiful Scorpios, welcome to the two, 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 two portal. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, pun intended. I will you all a bliss. I will you all a feeling fine, feeling fabulous. And I'm definitely hoping that you all uh, partook in that Archangel Mikael nine week ritual. Uh, today is the perfect day to do it. Um, I want to tell you from experience that working with that powerful archangel, you will see miracles take place. Um, I'm not encouraging you only to achieve, you know, the goal of receiving miracles. I really hope that you all develop a strong relationship with that powerful angel. Uh, my daughter has been working with that angel and she literally just landed herself her dream job. And it was like quick, fast, in a hurry. Uh, her uh, five-year anniversary is uh, coming up on 3-3. Three, three, um, and she's starting her brand new career on 3-3. Three, three. Two weeks ago, she came to me and was like, look, Ma, I'm, I'm over this job. Uh, I, I'm just over it. And I said, you know what? Do what you got to do. Uh, I encouraged her to follow her dream, to take that leap of faith. She worked with her angels and ancestors, uh, namely Archangel Mikael, and she received uh, not just a job, but a career. And she has also received a very significant jump in her uh, her pay. So taking that leap, trusting the process, uh, taking that initial step that your angels, that's all they need to see before they take those steps towards you. So I strongly urge and encourage you all to work with that powerful archangel. Uh, Ironically, today was the last day for my nine week uh, archangel uh, ritual prayer. Um, and I said to myself, I think I'm going to go and I'm going to get a little rewind. I'm going to have a do over. I'm going to do it again because I've seen so many powerful uh, changes. Um, and it's like, why stop at nine? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and do it for 18 weeks. And that's still nine. So uh, the beautiful thing is that, you know, you really develop a strong connection with that powerful archangel. I strongly feel um, a very... Um, powerful connection with Archangel Mikael, same as Archang um, same as uh, Baba Ogun. I feel like those are like my spiritual parents. I just always felt a very strong connection um, to those particular um, uh, deities. So, you know, I do encourage you all to work with those Archangel, with that Archangel. Uh, the prayer can be found in the comment section. Uh, there was a beautiful young soul that posted the video where I initially uh, pasted um, the prayer, but I also included the prayer uh, in the comment um, that I believe Divine Rain had left. And I believe I left the uh, prayer there for you all to use um, and to follow. And I just would love to hear what you all have been able to manifest with that powerful archangel. So welcome, welcome, welcome to anyone that may be new. Uh, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I am an empath. I am, uh, I channel messages intuitively and I am also clairaudient. So how I uh, interpret the messages here on my channel is I utilize music uh, and the songs, the song titles, the lyrics, uh, the name of the album, the name of the artist sometimes may come through um, intuitively. And those messages tend to blend very beautifully with the messages that come out in the car. Uh, so it's very beautiful just to see how that all works out. Um, right now we have Layla Hathaway and the name of this song is called That Was Then. Um, so there is a sense that, you know, maybe there's uh, this new version. Um, there's this new uh, emergence of yourself. And it's like maybe somebody is coming at you with some old perspective, old ideology, um, you know, just even talking to you uh, in a manner that you no longer respond to. And so confirmation. And so maybe some of you all are just saying, look, that was me then. Uh, get to know me now, you know, and it's four, four, four on the clock. Uh, so I do believe like your angels, your ancestors are really telling you to um, 
Introduce people to the new version of yourself. Um, say what you mean and mean what you say. Uh, do not let anyone get it confused or can, you know, twisted as to who they're dealing with now. Um, I feel like a lot of you all have really grown. You have evolved. You have ascended. And you may have a few straight, you know, scragglers that try to come around just to see if they can still, uh, you know, affect your mood or push your buttons or trigger you. And maybe some of you all may have to just, you know, re you know, remind folks who they dealing with. Um, but that's what I'm getting from that message. Um, for anyone that may be new, like I said, uh, this is going to be a general reading. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, your Mars, your Mercury, just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. This is also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that's exactly the divine time at 555 on the clock. So I do feel there's a lot of uh, harmony, balance, uh, spiritual alignment, emotional alignment. Um, but yes, definitely um, know that whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, that's the divine timing intended for you all to do so. So let's go ahead, get some house cleaning done. Call upon the elements of water. Fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I ask especially for Baba Ogun, Mama Oya, Baba Obatala to bless me, with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So we have Mary J. Blige um, and the name of this song is called All That I Can Say. Um, so perhaps you have someone coming back um, and I'm hearing an apology. Um, you know, all that I could say is I'm sorry. You know, I can't change the future is what, oh, I can't change the past, excuse me, is what I hear someone saying. It's like someone is saying, look, all I can say is I'm sorry. All I can do is apologize. I can't change how that transpired or what took place in the past. Uh, it's almost as if someone's asking for your forgiveness. And like I said in, you know, the former song, it was like, um, you know, it was almost like somebody was just, you know, trying to remind you of, you know, trying to take you back to an old version of you. But maybe this is also that same person because the name of that song by Layla Hathaway was um, That Was Then. So, you know, maybe someone is also saying, look, that was then. Um, I can't change the past. All I could do is show you who I am now. All I could do is move forward. So maybe this is someone from your past coming back, trying to state their case, trying to apologize. Um, I do feel like your angels and your ancestors with that 444 message, that uh, could literally have been someone that broke your heart, uh, betrayed you, disappointed you. But I feel with the three, I'm also getting not just the three of swords, broken heart, um, you know, sudden loss ending um but i'm also getting three of cups someone returning reuniting and then maybe you're confronting them with look i can't trust you because boom 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 and you running it down and they look like they're saying look i can't change the past all that i could say is i'm sorry all that i could do is apologize all that i could do is show you that i am sorry um you know that was then you know that's what this person is is kind of like that that's their 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 uh sentiment that's their argument is look that was then you know but to you it's like that's not enough is what i'm getting um so let's go ahead and get some messages from the cards. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. You know I like to start off with the uh, numerology deck. So let's pick up this deck, see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we got spirituality, and this is double sevens. So I do feel like um, whenever I see doubles, y'all already know my sentiment is I feel like this is you mirroring someone that could be coming in. But I also feel like this is you highly intuitive. Uh, we already know Scorpios are in a very um, psychic 
uh, you know, very psychic energy right now, clairaudient, oracle energy, high priestess energy. So you're really trusting your intuition right now. And maybe that's why somebody is literally like, look, there's nothing I could do to change the past. All I could say is I'm sorry. And I feel like you're just going with how you feel. You're very psychic, but you're also very spiritual. Uh, so you are connected to a higher source of energy. And I feel like that's who, with whom you are congregating with. Like you're connecting with your higher self. You're connecting with your angels, ancestors to determine whether or not, um, you know, you could uh, or should even consider uh, what someone is saying or if it's authentic. Uh, but um, what I see here with this purple is I really strongly feel like the divine is telling you to trust your intuition. Um, do not let anyone's words persuade you or uh, move you. It's like, you know, we already know the change behavior is all that you need to be checking for if someone's trying to convince you they've changed. 10, 10 on the clock. So you are dealing with an ex. Um, this is a toxic ex, someone that did you dirty uh, because I got that three of swords energy and this person is literally trying to come back saying, look, all I could do is say, I'm sorry. All I could do, and maybe for you all, that's not enough because maybe the damage was just too great. Um, it doesn't mean that you haven't forgiven them, but it just means you haven't forgotten. And so it's kind of hard to forget what someone has done to you when they've caused a lot of damage. Um, so with this spirituality, this seven, seven breaks down to uh, 14 and that's five, 11, 11, you have a twin flame coming in. And I feel like there was a lot of conflict changes. Um, there was a lot of challenges even in this connection, but I feel like those challenges and those changes you've endured with this ex, with this karmic ex, I feel is what led to your ascension through, uh, uh, to your personal growth, your spiritual um, connection, uh, your spiritual strength, because I do get a sense of like ascension, growth, um, you know, and um, just overall, uh, like I said, sensitivity, you know, you speak energy, uh, you may feel vibrations, um, you may do a lot of intuitive or telepathic communication. And as I said here, this is like emotional changes, uh, but also internal changes, uh, healing at a soul level. Um, but I also feel like, you know, with that five, you know, that is the, um, the throat chakra. So I feel like you, a lot of you all learned, um, you know, maybe what your passion was. Maybe you discovered something you enjoyed doing uh, while healing from past pains, hurts, and traumas. And I feel like, you know, this is kind of like what kind of, you know, helped you to, to uh, just kind of uh, get past a painful chapter in your lives. Um, with nature, I do feel like a lot of you are very grounded. You, you, you enjoy your time out in nature. I feel like things come to you naturally. Like I said, very intuitive, very psychic. The 74, some of you all could have been born in the year 1974. The 74 also reduces to 11. So I do feel like maybe you'll meet someone special out in nature, or maybe you just have a very special connection, um, when you're out in nature, you feel very grounded. Um, I do sense that there's a lot of divine interventions. You may see a lot of animal totems. Maybe you're finding feathers or you're just having a lot of synchronicities take place in your life. And I feel like, you know, you know that that's your angels and your ancestors communicating with you and just letting you know to keep moving forward. Um, so we have Lee Morgan. This is called Exotic. So with this passionate new start in domestic harmony, I feel that you have someone that's very attracted to you very passionately, like they're very sexually attracted to you. They want a new start. They want to come towards you, uh, you know, um, uh, very, you know, I feel like this is someone kind of wanting to come in and just charm you you know, charm the pants off you is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. Uh, but this is someone that really sees like long-term, like longevity. This isn't just somebody looking in for a good time, you know, looking to come in for a good time and not a long time. Like this is somebody with domestic harmony. Like they could see the two of you very domestic, living together, sharing bills, um, you know, just, just growing a family, uh, building a network, you know, building that family. Um, they feel that you are very powerful at manifesting your your ideas um your thoughts into realities like this person could be um manifesting you or you could be manifesting this person uh but they find you to be very exotic um 
you know, very magnetic. You have this mystique, uh, this sense of mysteriousness. You know, there's just something uh, about you that really turns them on. Uh, it's like you don't even have to do much. And this person is just like turned on. So let's go ahead. Let's get some messages. Let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. Uh, Spirit of love and light. Oop, so that just flipped over. So we got two messages. So we got healing. So a lot of you all, there goes that double number again. So I feel you and another person are definitely mirroring. You both have been going through some sort of healing process. And now you're very, uh, very much in harmony. I feel like there was a lot of work and, and uh, time invested in this process. And every great healer, uh, you know, has to first heal themselves. So I feel like you've not only uh, healed yourselves, but maybe you've activated and triggered someone else to do their internal work as well. Um, but I see here with this purple, um, or excuse me, this, what is this? Is this blue or purple? I can't tell with these strobe lights. Um, I believe it's blue. So with this blue, you know, this breaks down to 12. Maybe someone wants to heal a connection that was, um, that was unfortunately, you know, that met its demise that really, you know, it, it, it ended on a sour note, uh, because someone may have betrayed you. Uh, we have spiritual careers. So I feel like you've turned your, your pain into power. Uh, and this has led you, you know, to becoming great healers, as I said, because every great healer has to first heal themselves. And I feel like you've, you've discovered a passion, you've discovered a talent. Um, and I feel like that's something that's very unique, um, and very rare about you is that, you know, how to, you know, transmute your pain and turn it into power 16, 16. So that's seven, seven, that's 14, that's five. So I do feel like, again, that's your form of expression. Um, you've learned your, you know, what your soul's purpose or mission is. Um, you've learned to express yourselves, um, authentically, you know, unapologetically through some sort of creative, um, you know, out. Uh, so, you know, whether this was by you healing from someone breaking your heart, just, you know, just, um, disappointing you in a relationship or deceiving you, betraying you, um, you've learned to transmute that pain. Uh, and now it's like you are, uh, creating some sort of, uh, career out of what you've learned. It's like you're now a co-creator. Uh, this also reduces to six because this is 15 at six. So this is like six, six, six. Uh, so this is in your DNA. This is something, uh, that you were born to do something that is like you're a part of your sovereignty. Uh, it's written in, in stone. It's like it is written. This was a part of your destiny. So it's almost as if you had to go through something in order to grow through it. And by you growing through it, um, you've, discovered your voice. You found your voice. You found your power. And now you're going to make a career out of it. So that's confirmation here um, that you all are going to have a very successful career. I feel like you're going to also, uh, it's like, I feel your career has a lot to do with um, your spirituality. It's a, like, obviously, because it says spiritual career, but I feel like many of you are very psychic, very intuitive, your oracles, magis, magicians, alchemists, uh, because the six is the first eye. Uh, and then you have this 15, which is also six. So I do feel like, you know, that's your first style. So you have the ability to use discernment. You speak energy. You see uh, through the illusions uh, with this physical activity here. Um, I do feel like a lot of you have really been working hard, grinding, uh, putting boots to the ground, and just really mastering your craft, mastering yourselves. Um, and I feel like there was a lot of work, a lot of uh, time and energy invested in this. And I feel like that's why you're going to receive some sort of success. Like things are going to be very successful for you because this is pink this is a pink card so I do feel like you're going to be very emotionally fulfilled by whatever it is you're doing because it is your calling that came out in the last reading that you had a calling um, that it, this is your soul's mission uh, your life's path is to be this this grand teacher this master teacher this healer this shaman this light worker this alchemist this herbalist this practitioner so um, I do feel that energy coming out strongly so this is um I feel like your bonus messages uh, because we got the healing and the, the uh, spiritual career um, 
these both came out together. Oh, the divine is saying, no, this would be your bonus. So healing. So the divine is just really taking, um, really, you know, focusing on how much healing that has taken place. But should, this is the overall energy of spiritual career. So I do feel like your, your career, your spiritual career is expanding. Um, and I just feel like you are seen as someone very exotic, very mysterious. There's this, you know, and Scorpios tend to have that air uh, around them of mystery. People are really always very intrigued. They want to know more. They want to dive deeper. Uh, and, and that's why a lot of people tend to feel we're very secretive, but it's, it's really more so private. We, we don't allow a lot of people in. And when we do allow you in, um, you know, you got to act right <laughs> or else you get booted out of the friend circle. But so let's go ahead. Let's see. So who is Scorpio attracting? So it says, follow your dreams. So someone is following their dream. They, they, may, they may see you as their dream. Um, they may see you as someone that they can build a life with. Someone that is very um, loving, very radiant, very nurturing. Uh, someone who is an alchemist, uh, a healer. Uh, someone very powerful, a co-creator, a master manifester, uh, someone who has faith, someone who walks in faith, someone who knows how to uh, change their circumstance, their outcome, um, someone who's very powerful, who owns their power, who demands their respect, um, you know, who just kind of knows how to demand, uh, you know, the attention, like you command um you know, your respect, like you just know how to step into a room and you just shift the energy. And that is something that this person finds to be very attractive, uh, very exotic, very unique, very uh, rare. You know, there's just something rare about you, something that they don't want to lose. Um, and as I said, maybe this is someone uh, from your past, an ex that could have broken your heart, broken that that uh, circle of trust which is why you had to heal. Um, and maybe that's why that person is saying, you know, that was then, um, you know, um, all that I could say is, look, that was the past. I'm sorry. And, you know, maybe you're not going to be as receptive, but I feel like this person feels they could build with you, grow with you because now they see you in a completely different light, uh, because you have been working very hard, very tediously on healing thyself. Uh, and now you are exuding self-love, self-care, uh, which is now making you more of, um, you know, a healer. You know how to help others get past their pain or past uh, some form of trauma. As I said before, you've completed some sort of painful karmic lessons. Uh, you've completed a karmic uh, connection and this was all destined. It was a part of your destiny and this was how you were able to discover your life's path uh, and, you know, also discover who you are and what your purpose was overall. And I feel like this is what's making you very attractive is that you are now um, moving to the beat of your drum and also, um, you know, exuding confidence and self-love and your practice and self-care. So you've established healthy boundaries with people. Um, we have fabulous. This is called bite. Uh, so I do feel like you also have to be very mindful uh, that you have a lot of biters out there, a lot of people that could be trying to bite your ideas, bite your style. Um, I feel like this person wants to take a bite out of you. Um, but with this karmic uh, completion, I do feel like you just, you know, you kind of like literally, because this is called the soul tape. I feel like you've just literally done a lot of soul work, um, you know, and you're really just... Um, you know, moving forward to the beat of your drum, you're doing things your way, you're very rebellious now, you know, you're not going along to get along, you're not appeasing and pleasing, uh, and you know, there's just a lot of people around you that have seen your transformation, this growth, and it's very attractive, but it's also something that's, you know, causing a little jealousy, a little envy, a little angst in others, and they may literally be trying to figure out how to bite your style or how to do whatever it is you've been doing because they see the results. They see the ending, uh, with physical activity, you've been very proactive. So this is not something that you have just like, you know, you just, you know, kind of like, how do you say you just kind of faked it till you made it? Like you actually put, 
a lot of work into it. You know, this is literally 67 is the death. That's 13. So you've gone through major transformations. This is enormous change. And you had to face, you know, every circumstance head on. There was no running and hiding. Um, that shadow is going to follow you until you turn around and confront it. And I feel like you all did just that. You looked yourselves down in the mirror and whatever you saw looking back that you didn't like, you worked very hard to change it. You worked very hard to, you know, cut yourself free from things that weren't serving your highest good, whether those were habits, behaviors, belief systems, or ideologies, people, places, or things. It's like you really was very proactive because you knew that in order for your circumstance to change, um, you had to be the one to change it. So you couldn't just, you know, manifest change. You had to be very active. You had to really put that work in. And so I feel like a lot of you all, this is just confirmation of how much work um, that you put into this healing uh, that you all have been very responsible for. And I feel like there's a lot of people that's wanting to bite you, bite your, you know, bite your style or copycat. That's a, that's what biting means is like being a copycat, trying to literally like, you know, duplicate someone else, um, you know, fake it, you know, but at the end of the day, it's because they see that you're living a very fabulous life or they see you as someone very fabulous. It's almost, you know, like someone is, is, is trying to, uh, mimic you or, uh, as I said, you know, just bite your style. So let's see. Um, so overall energy so follow your dreams someone is coming towards you that sees you as wish fulfillment i feel they also see you as someone they can grow with build with uh someone that they can plant seeds roots and a nucleus with this is someone that wants to invest long term um as they could see like they could have emotional uh fulfillment with you they could have security they could have stability um, they could, you know, they're willing to compromise as well is what I'm getting. And if they see that happy house, happy spouse as confirmation. So divine spirit of love and light. How does this person feel for Scorpio? So somebody misses you. I'm getting messages from people saying miss you. <laughs> uh, we got intuition. So they feel, what did I say? This person knows. Okay. I got to turn my phone off. I'm going to apologize for all these interruptions. All right. Um, so someone definitely um, knows how psychic you are. And this person really is someone that you could be picking up on their energy uh, with two, two. That again is four. So like I said, this person sees you as someone because this reduces to 13, which is four. So I feel like this person sees you as wish fulfillment. And this is the 22. I feel like you already know who this person is. Um, whether this is someone from your past or maybe someone you used to, uh, you know, like an acquaintance or someone you worked with or whoever this is, they have a lot of love for you. This is a love that they may not have shared. Um, and maybe through them not sharing how they felt with you, they could have lost you. I feel like intuitively you're going to know what to do if someone does return. Uh, you're going to go according to how you feel uh, intuitively with persevere. You've persevered through a lot which we can see here because the six, six reduces to 12. That's three. I've got the three of swords energy. Also the three of cups, someone wanted to reunite, heal this connection. Um, but I feel like you were very, very resilient. Um, and this resilience literally is, you know, showing me how much you've grown. You know, this four is you being very stable, very independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant, uh, very grounded, balanced, and in alignment, uh, mind, body, and soul. Uh, this is an all green card. So not only did you heal from the pain, that heart chakra, cause this four is the heart chakra, but it's also you healing from you know, from any childhood traumas that you may have suffered from, uh, from any familial traumas, abandonment issues, mommy, daddy issues, whatever it is, um, sexual abuse, assault, uh, whatever it is. And we have right now, Martha Ambrose, your hands. So I feel like some of you all, um, literally applied your own hands. Maybe some of you all are Reiki healers. So you may use your hands to heal, uh, certain ailments, certain pain, uh, that you may feel in your physical body or in your body, or maybe you use, uh, your hands to heal others around you. Uh, but I also feel like, um, I'm getting the vision of emotional loss from the energy oracle deck where there's a masculine energy and he's applying his hands to his heart chakra. Uh, so I feel like a lot of you all may have literally uh, healed yourselves from some sort of pain. 
and you have persevered. You've shown strength. You've shown resilience. You've shown that you have taken your power back. And I feel like that's why there's this just this awe, uh, this admiration, uh, because you've literally come out of something that was really uh, painful. And especially with that... Um, you know, that card that showed 13, I do feel like it felt like a death. Uh, whenever you're literally in a relationship with people, whether they're friendships, because as I said earlier, Scorpios have, um, they are not very trusting. So when they do trust you, um, and you betray that trust, uh, that literally feels like a death because it's almost like, you know, someone kind of ripped your heart out of your, out of your uh, chest, you know, and, and it's someone that you, literally were very loyal to. So Scorpios are very loyal and they will fight to the death for you. Uh, but when they discover that you aren't loyal and that you're not a faithful person or that you're deceptive or that you lie, it's, it's literally like it's the death. That's why I was picking up somebody really could be coming back. Um, and trying to say, look, all I can say is I'm sorry. Um, that was then that's not Scorpios don't care when it happened. It's like it happened, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and and there's no way to write that. You know, it's like we could forgive because we know ultimately forgiveness is for us, but we will never ever forget. And it was just 30 30. So six is uh, you know, the number. So that's like that 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 causes um an imbalance that causes a lot of um conflict. Uh, and a lot of people don't understand, you know, but it, it's, it's just, that's the way Scorpio's are wired. It's like, you'll never forget. You could forgive all day, but it's like, would you ever put yourself back in harm's way? If you know how it ended up last time, regardless of what somebody may say, it's like, if, if you were lying, cheating, sneaking, creeping, defaming my character 10 months ago, how do I know, you know, today that you're just, just this reformed individual. It's like, I would be a fool to just take you back and accept, you know, you in saying that you've changed. It's like, even if you see change behaviors, like it still won't be the same because you've already, you've ruined it. <laughs> you know, some of y'all might accept that, that past person back, you know, or a past person back. Um, but it has to be like some different type of circumstances, you know? So we have creativity. So very divine feminine energy um, that you are exuding right now, even if you're masculine, very creative, uh, literally just tapping into your skills, your gifts, your talents, um, really mastering. I just see someone up at night just writing um, lyrics. I feel like some of you all are hip hop artists and you are lyricists. You're, you don't do the mumble rap. It's like you really appreciate uh, the art form, the craft. Um, so you master your craft. I feel like a lot of you all may have thesauruses open, dictionaries, uh, cause you like to utilize certain words, um, you know, just to show your vernacular, your, 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 uh, word play. Um, I feel like if some of you all are singers, it's like you truly exercise uh your vocal cords so you don't abuse your vocal cords by smoking and drinking and screaming it's like you really wake up exercising that craft that skill that talent even if you're painters you could be finding yourselves up at night all night just painting just investing in that skill that gift that talent and i feel like that's what's leading to some sort of successful spiritual career um and it's going to bring in a lot of abundance a lot of stability and security um and i i feel overall wish fulfillment um we have mad lib and this is called stormy so i do feel like because this is a sunny um card i feel like you're coming out of some really some really tough times, you know, things could have been really, really tough, really, um, gloomy, but I feel things are brightening up because you've remained very optimistic. And it's a lot of this is because, you know, you've been busy miss master manifesting, um, you know, really working hard towards your goals, standing in your power, standing erect, you know, just master manifesting, co-creating with source, transmuting pain into power, and just really being, you know, that divine feminine, divine masculine, uh, you know, creating new ideas, new ways of thinking, new projects, uh, 
embarking on new endeavors and this is what makes you very attractive uh, because you know your worth, you know your value. And so we have here forgiveness. And as I said earlier, like forgiveness is always for you. Um, so I do feel again, you know, because this is the second time this forgiveness card came out. I feel like a lot of you all had to forgive uh, people who never even apologized. Uh, and we have patience. So not only have you had to forgive those who have not apologized to you, but you've also had to exhibit a lot of patience. You had to be patient for uh, some of the blessings that you've been praying for and sending up to, you know, into the ethers. It's like you've had to uh, show that patience. Uh, and as I said before, like patience is a form of action ultimately. So let's go ahead. We're going to get some messages. I want to get some messages from the dark grim grimoire. So we have the queen of pentacles here on the bottom of the deck. So I do feel again, self-sufficiency, independence, knowing your worth and value. We also have the knave of swords. So this is literally like somebody could be spying watching, clocking, uh, as I said, studying you, uh, trying to bite your style, um, you know, copycat, uh, just trying to mimic something that you're doing. Uh, but I do feel like you are going to receive karma or someone is going to receive karma. Things are going to be handled fairly and justly. I also feel like you've been sold in good faith. So things are going to start turning around in your favor. You're going to see things start balancing out as we see with this healing card, uh, with this fool, whatever. Did I say somebody from your past is wanting to return. I feel like this person had a lot of naysayers, a lot of Debbie Downers, a lot of negative people in their ear, um, giving them some really bad advice, some little that aren't that aren't, and they listen to the wrong folks. Uh, 3535 is 88, that's 16, that's seven. They didn't listen to their own intuition, nor did they trust their intuition. I feel like now this person is looking back or reflecting back. And receiving some sort of aha moment, epiphany, because this light is literally shining down in their crown chakra, even though they are, you know, in this stray jacket. And so back in the day, stray jackets were used for people with mental, um, you know, mental illness to prevent them from hurting themselves. I believe in certain prison systems, they still put people in those stray jackets just so that they don't. Uh, harm themselves. So I feel like this person uh, did a lot in the past that not only hurt you, broke your heart that you had to heal from, but they also, you know, kind of bit their nose off and spited their own face, so to speak. So it's like now they're looking back in awareness and now they're realizing that they want to try again. Um, and all they could say is, I'm sorry, because it's almost like the divine sat their asses down, um, almost like in that hangman status, so that they could look at things from a different perspective. Uh, and maybe they're looking at things from your perspective and they're realizing how much of a fool they had been in the past. They realize that, you know, um, in order to rectify the situation, they're going to have to come back humbly. And that's where I feel I was hearing like, you know, someone trying to apologize and maybe you're saying like, you did a lot of damage and they like, look, that was then, um, you know what I'm saying? All that I can say is I'm sorry, you know, because now it's like you're, you're clapping back. Um, so we have here the two of swords. So someone is really, you know, needing to trust their intuition, uh, their inner gumption. I feel this person was truly like stuck in two minds. Um, they had a lot of, like I said, all these demons behind them. So, you know, they had a lot of people in their ear, staring them in the wrong direction. And all they ever needed to do was to listen to their own intuition. And that is something that would have guided them in the right path on the right path. Uh, 37, 37. So that's 10, 10. So this person caused a major tower moment. Uh, that 10, 10 is reminding me of the 10 of swords and the 10 of wands. So this person burdened you, overburdened you, um, wasn't there to support you, never reciprocated, backstabbed you, lied, tried to defame your character, was very cutting with their words. And I feel ultimately that's why the divine is noticing how much you've had to persevere from, like what you've gone through, how, how difficult it had to be for you to get to this point where you're now, you know, feeling like, you know, you're very grounded and 
balanced and in alignment uh, so much so that now you can help others heal themselves, heal from past pains, wounds, and traumas. And so with this two swords, it's like someone is finally seeing like they weren't being their authentic self. And they had a lot of people that was sabotaging their connections, um, sabotaging their connection with you. That could have been family, friends, uh, fake friends, you know. But if you look closely, these people, you know, these two animal totems here, they look very demonic either way. You know, this is like demons and they're trying to pull this person down, trying to, you know, force him to lose balance. Um, you know, if they distract them long enough, he could fall to his death, you know? So this person has to create like their own, um, it's almost like their own safe haven so that they can kind of see their way clear and, and, and kind of get through whatever. So it's almost like they got to use their own logic, if you will. So with this eight of wands, Someone is truly wanting to come toward you, uh, take action, um, express themselves, say what they feel. They could be at a distance. And I see here the uh, Knight of Swords. So with this Knight of Swords, this is absolutely someone wanting to rush toward you, um, you know, and just say something. They could possibly blurt things out without even thinking, um, without even, you know, uh, considering uh, you know, you know how they say you got to read the room. So this is probably why that person may have caught you off guard and they may clap back when you say whatever you say with, you know, that was then, you know, that could be a very insensitive way to, uh, explain a situation is that was then because that was then could literally feel like it was yesterday, uh, to someone who's still healing, um, from some sort of heartbreak or disappointment. So it's like, you know, um, that's why I feel the divine is telling you to just listen to your intuition that will guide you in terms of how to respond or if you should even give it a response because you've truly gone through a lot, you know, and this shows your growth. You know, this has shown, um, you know, also I feel like somebody truly wants to heal a connection, but you have to trust your intuition because I feel if someone's behavior hasn't changed, then, you know, there goes your answer right there. So we have uh, Peter Tosh. This is called Mystic Man. So you may have um, another person that could be just as mysterious, uh, someone that you may... Um, you can't figure them out just like they can't figure you out, you know, because with Mystic Man, this is someone that could be, you know, almost like um, a mystery to you, you know, someone that's very intriguing. Um, so let's see what we have. So we have the Queen of Chalices. Look at that. And so just as I said, this is your bonus message. So this speaks to you, Scorpio. You've done the healing. Just as I said, you've done a lot of internal work. You've healed yourselves. And this is you still at a, a space, you know, in a position of self-mastery. You're still a queen. Nobody has taken your crown from you. Um, but this is also about you being emotionally in equilibrium. And you're highly intuitive and very psychic. You can see that first eye on the back of her crown. Uh, on the back of her throne, excuse me. So this just shows how much work you've done um, internally, externally, and how balanced you are, you know. And you look to be very open to love, you know. Your your chalice isn't closed. Um, you're standing up and erect, very powerful. You have a very powerful disposition. So I do feel a sense of like, you know, a lot of strength um, that you are exuding at this time. And as I said, you know, I feel like someone finds you very mysterious because uh, we did have um, Exotic uh, playing earlier by um, uh, Lee Morgan. And now we have Mystic Man. So someone does find you to be very mysterious. Uh, and there's just a beautiful mystique about you. Uh, something very attractive, very alluring. Um, and someone really uh, is intrigued, to say the least. So on the bottom of the deck, we have Strength. So this is what you have exuded, and this is why you are now uh, being deemed or being called that sage, you know, being called that that shaman, that healer, that light worker, that mystic, you know. This is someone that is uh, very skilled because you've had to, you know, face your own demons. You've had to confront your own uh, demons. You've had to uh, do your own shadow work. So that makes you very uh, prepared, very skilled. Um, in helping others because you had to first heal yourselves. So now you exude this strength, you know, and it's because you've turned around and confronted uh, whatever it was uh, that could have potentially been keeping you anchored uh, down emotionally or keeping you in a space where you were feeling stuck and stagnant, confused and conflicted. And so now you can
can make a career out of something that you have completely transformed. You've turned your pain into power. And now you have an ability to uh, help others, uh, to be that healer, to be that, that spiritual practitioner, uh, to be that Reiki healer, to help someone heal from certain pain and traumas. Um, or that orator. So this is a very powerful energy. Uh, speaks of you taking your power back, having a sense of self-respect, standing in your in your power and on uh, your square, very powerfully grounded, balanced, and in alignment. So that's beautiful. So why is spiritual teacher here for what's in the overall energy for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit of love and light? We have a message of love and light. Why is spiritual teacher here for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you. And so we have the... Uh, the hermit. So this is you going within internal self audits. You know, this is you reflecting, introspecting, self discovery. You know, this is soul searching, diving deep. This is literally what it looks like. You disconnected from everyone, people, places, and things. You went internally. You know, you, you, you disengage, detach from all of the distractions in the outside world. And you went, you know, internal. You went to master yourself. This is a very studious energy. And the hermit is a wizard, you know, so he knows that the answers he seeks are found within. And I feel like you were spiritually guided to do this work, 4444 four, four on the clock. So this is your calling. I feel like this is what the divine has been telling you. This is what the divine has been awakening you to. You've become awakened to this truth. And I feel like when you come out of this hermit mode, you're going to move forward towards that passionate new beginning, that passionate new start that we saw in the very beginning when we, when we touched the cards. And so what we have here for follow your dreams is you have this knight of chalices. And this is clarifying the person you're attracting with this knight of chalices and follow your dreams. This is how this person feels in their emotions towards you is they want to come towards you. And like I said, they may come in with an apology. This could be someone that really, truly broke your heart, someone from your past. But this person is coming in trying to bring balance, you know, trying to balance things out. And, you know, that's why the divine is telling you to use your intuition because you don't want anyone to be emotionally manipulative either. Uh, maybe because this person knows that you are a, an emotional being or an empath, they may try to pull on your emotional strings. But this person is coming in quickly uh, and you just need to be mindful because this is a night, you know, and nights are there for a good time, but we don't know if they're there for a long time. So they could lay it on real thick, be very charming, uh, be, be very passionate, but they can rush off just as quickly as they rushed in, you know. Or they could rush out just as quickly as they rushed in. So what we have now is Janae Aiko, and this is called The Vapors. All right? So this is called The Vapors. And, 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 and the name of the album is called Sail Out. So I was saying that this person could rush out as quickly as they rush in, and the name of the album is Sail Out. So this person could truly just bail on you. You know, they could leave just as quickly as they come. So that's why intuition is here. And this person knows you're very intuitive. They know that you are very psychic. You know, especially with this eye on her crown, this just speaks to your psychic abilities. And we got 46, 46 on the clock. So that's 10, 10. This is that person that broke your heart that's trying to come in, but they're coming in in this night energy and not king or emperor status. So I don't know if this is something that you will entertain because I feel like intuitively, you know, that this person is not someone that you could really trust your heart with. Because they have this tendency of rushing in, laying it on thick, and then disappearing into thin air. And maybe you've gone through this enough to know that this is just this person's M.O. And maybe this person just caught the vapors like Biz Markey said. They caught the vapors. And the vapors is literally just somebody who is, like I said, you know, now they see how much work you've done and how su much success you have. So now they want to kind of get in where they fit in. They want to jump on the bandwagon uh, because they see how it's worked for you. So they kind of want to bite. They want to, you know, replicate, duplicate um, your style. But it's like it's, it's just so that, you know, they can kind of get in where they fit in. But this is a night. So I don't know if you're going to really trust that or if you should trust that. We got the magician here. So the divine is saying, like, trust what you're feeling. If you feel uh, like someone's trying to master manipulate, because this is a master manipulator. This is someone like planning, scheming, preparing, strategizing, you know, on, on a specific plan. 
you know, so you have to be mindful. You got to use your own intuition, trust your own inner gumption and not people's words. You barely could trust what they show you because people are very, um, you know, they'll show you what they want you to see ultimately. So that's why you have to speak energy. You got to trust your intuition and use discernment. So why is intuition here? I also feel like you're very intuitive. That just speaks to you being that alchemist, that master manifester, having very powerful uh, psychic abilities right now, being very sensitive to energy, you know, knowing how to set intention, like I said, to create your reality. Today is also 2-2. Two -two, so maybe you have been receiving a lot of messages today. A lot of downloads because it's two, 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 two. So it's like, you know, this is a very powerful number as well. So we got the star here. So many of you are manifesting. Like I said, you are the alchemist. And, and this is how this person feels about you is that you are like wish fulfillment. You're radiating love and light. They see you in the spotlight. So like I said, maybe you're doing something. Maybe you have already begun this spiritual career. Maybe you have a shop, maybe you have a, a store, maybe you provide services, remote healing, maybe you have some sort of spiritual um, items that you sell, be it candles, jewelry, whatever it is that you do, oils, anointing oils. It's like you, you are seen as someone very talented and gifted. And I feel like the way you've been able to, you know, um, tap into this power is through, you know, you healing yourselves. By you having to become that, that healer, you know, and in you healing, you've learned to release, you know, all of the pain and the trauma, you know, because remember you have this healing card. So this, these waters are, you know, this is your element, but this also allows for you to heal. It allows for you to regenerate, to recuperate, to, um, also to recharge, to release what no longer serves you. And I feel like in you doing that, you've also discovered that you're co-creators, that you could literally turn pain into power, that you could literally, you know, transmute the pain and create something amazing. And that's literally what you've done here. And so we have Nas. This is called royalty. So someone does see you as being, like I said, that queen, uh, a divine feminine, that goddess, that God, that divine masculine. You know, you're, you're very gifted, very talented. And this is someone that may pray a lot, um, maybe trying to manifest you or they see you just being that alchemist, creating potions and elixirs, you know, just knowing how to transmute circumstances, knowing how to set your intention to manifest your desired outcome with five, five, five. It was just on the clock, 50, 55, that's 16 or that's 15, excuse me. And that's six. So they do feel like you are the yang today again. Um, that you are like their spiritual counterpart and wish fulfillment ultimately. And I feel like you know who this is uh, as well. And we have the sun here. So this is you, you know, you, you, you see the light. This is clarity. This is illumination. Um, you know your worth. You know your birthright. You know that it is a part of your sovereignty to, to be that healer, to be that voice, uh, to be that, that ray of light to others. As I said, someone sees you radiating uh, love and light and the sun is literally, it's, it's a, a very beautiful, um, you know, life force and source. And this is what they see you, you know, how they see you. They see you as someone who has overcome a lot of difficulties, has, you know, really overcome even their own bull crap you know, and, and now you're just, you know, shining, you're glowing. You have some beautiful brand new start. It's like you bring a lot of joy and happiness to every situation. They realize just how much, um, you know, they miss you, you know, because you brought a lot of laughter and happiness even into their lives. And we have the queen of pentacles again and the creativity. So this person does see you as someone that's like an entrepreneur. Um, not only are you the type that can, you know, take care of the home, very domestic, but they also see you as someone that could put on, you know, you know, that boss hat, that crown and go and run a business, a fortune 500 business. So many of you, you could be very great mothers, great fathers. Um, they love the way that you parent your children, the way they love that nurturing and, and, and empathic, uh, caring, uh, quality that you possess. But they also see you as someone that's very independent, very self-sufficient, very self-made, uh, someone very resourceful, very practical, 
practical um, and you also like nice things. So they see you in this empress status, you know, someone very powerful that knows their worth, knows their value, knows what they bring to the table. And this is how this person is feeling like you are royalty um, and like you match their fly. Uh, what we see here is the five of um swords and this is clarifying forgiveness so the divine is literally saying that this is what you've had to forgive um you've had to forgive people that were like literally uh gunning for you you know people who were trying to to take you out they were all teaming up against you and all you had was yourself you know but you've had to forgive uh people because they knew not what they were doing i feel like some people that you were dealing with were under you know could have been under influence they could have been under demonic possession maybe incubus succubus type of energy but i do see here that you uh, you had to forgive, you know, and you may be looking back in awareness, 53, 53 is 88, eight, that's 16, that's seven. You knew some of these people were under some sort of control or under some sort of emotion, uh, some sort of manipulation. Maybe somebody was manipulating their energy. Uh, so that could have been like some sort of juju or spell work or some sort of, uh, root work being done. But I feel like you, you continued to, um, to, to move away from this type of energy. Um, the, the more you ran away from this energy, the more they chase. And I feel like your person now could be trying to uh, get free from some sort of toxic energy uh, because now they're starting to discover that, you know, those people that they were uh, literally, you know, going to seeking advice with kind of sabotaging their situations. And so now they could come back and completely confess to you that they've discovered these people were deceptive liars, uh, and that they were sabotaging their relationships out of jealousy. And they're going to be seeking your forgiveness. Uh, we have 54, 54. So that's nine, nine. And that's also the highest number of change. We have D'Angelo here, and this is called prayer. So this person could be praying and asking for you to forgive them because now they're looking back, like I said, in awareness, like I was picking up, someone could have truly been like put in a hangman status so that they could see things from a different vantage point from your perspective. And now they're looking back and they see that they was surrounded by a bunch of demonic ass energies. They could have been dealing with incubus, succubus energies, liars, demon, just, just devils, envious and jealous of them. And they didn't see it because they would refused to see it. They weren't using their own intuition. Um, this 96, that's 15, that still reduces to six. So they didn't trust their intuition. And now they could be coming to you humbly asking for your forgiveness. And with prayer, I feel like this person may be praying day and night, uh, hoping that you'll forgive them, asking for your forgiveness. Um, and praying that it just over, you know, just works out. I just saw five, 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 five. So that's 20. Um, so, you know, this is someone who literally look at that. They, they're very defensive. Um, and this is people, this is someone that now sees or knows because you see this gun. So like I said, that they're, they're literally in their mind, the way that they're looking at a situation is what's better protection, God or guns. Um, you know, and with prayer here, this person is praying fervently, uh, because they know that they have tangled with the wrong type of energy. These are people that are out to get them. Just like this person, they're, they're being chased. You know, this is like, you know, people relentlessly, um, chasing them down, hunting them down, even trying to sneak up on them while they're resting. This could literally be like, um, you know, um, witching hours, you know, someone being attacked during witching hours. Uh, but this person is truly aware now that they cannot be trusting of those indiv individuals. Uh, so, you know, you could be, you know, attracting someone that could be going through that, or maybe this is someone you used to deal with that's going through this now and they have some sort of epiphany. So let's see this look Fugazi. So somebody was realizing now, you know, that they, they was dealing with a bunch of frauds, fakes, foo foo energy. Look at that. This is somebody that was literally like, you know, they let their, their Johnson or they let their, you know, their, you know, Katrina, <laughs> you know, be the deciding factor. You know, this is what they moved with. This is the incubus succubus. I don't have any standards and we'll put my thing in anything. Stray cat, stray dog. That's just literally somebody that doesn't have, you know, any core values. They don't, they don't, you know, they don't care at the end of the day with whom they lay with or who they allow in, you know? So we got, I want your forgiveness. Oh, I want to hear your voice again. I miss you. And then we got Fugazi. So that Fugazi person, 
is missing you just as I just like I was picking up. They're missing you now because they're looking around and they're realizing there's no sunlight. It's all gloomy. I was remember we had that song, I think it said gloomy. Um, and I forgot who that was by, but there was a song. So somebody's life is really just gloomy, gray. They see you as that mama bear. They see you as somebody who is truly like very nurturing, loving, and caring. So this is going to be the last messages, and then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. And so we have, you have people who are in secret competitions with you. Mind. Keep your business to yourself. Didn't I just say that? And what did I say? I said people who see that you have been healing, you've been growing, and now this is what you have. You have somebody or individuals who've seen you grow, who've seen you evolve. Now they're in some sort of sick competition, you know, because they see that you are in this power, you're in this light. You may have cut those people off because you realized they was frauds, they was fugazis. You know what I'm saying? We saw that fugazi card that showed up. And... um I feel like the divine is saying that you are truly protected and you need to continue to, you know, block this energy out. You know, anybody that uh, you just feel their energy does not sit right in your spirit. Block, block, block. Do not uh, just let anybody come back just because it feels good. You know what I'm saying? Um, let me see what we got. I'm sorry. I can't ignore everybody forever. All right, so let's see. Why is spiritual career and the hermit here for uh, what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios, divine spirit? And right now we have Shannon, and this is called Let the Music Play. You won't get away. So, yeah, some of you all, like I said, some of y'all could be lyricists, musicians. Let the music play. You know what I'm saying? So let the music play and write to your heart's content. Master your craft. You know, you can see he's literally writing. So if you are writers um, or if you are lyricists, please don't do no mumble rap. Like, please put some some real effort into your craft. Be lyricists, you know, like master your craft. You know what I'm saying? You want music to 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 be um, timeless. It's just like if I listen to music my mom grew up on or even my grandmother, like Lee Morgan, M Miles Davis, that stuff my grandmother and they grew up on. And it's timeless. I could listen to that now 50, 60 years later because it's timeless. Mumble rap, you're going to like it, it's old after a couple of plays. Like it's like because there's no there's no heart, no soul. You know what I'm saying? It just it's just catchy. And it's like, come on, we, we, we got to master the craft. You know, it's a it's a skill. It's a talent. It's not just about making a whole lot of money and getting a bunch of views. It's literally that is your voice. Use it. You know, what, what are you how are you sharing those gifts with the universe? Like, how is it, you know, helping the collective, you know, um, as a whole? And I just saw one, one, one. So that's three. And that's literally what today's number breaks down to. Uh, cause it's 12. So that's three. So manifest, you can manifest your dreams into reality. You know, that's also about plan, prepare, strategize, ready, set, go. So it's like, you know, what you put into something, you're going to get it back, you know? So, um, I digress. Uh, so why is spiritual career here and the hermit for what's in the hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? My spirit may have a message of love and light. So always be building. I can't make this up. So always be building. This is about mastering your craft, building on a solid foundation. You know, always be building. This is about truly studious energy. And that's what he's doing. This is the wee hours of the night and he's up, you know, putting time, energy, and investing it into his art form, into his craft. And this is why this is going to lead to some sort of spiritual career. And you're going to have a lot of abundance and opulence. And it's going to bring a lot of balance. You may even find a, like a business partner, um, you know, because this six could be like the lovers. The lovers uh, card is not just, um, you know, you meeting a lover, but this could be like emotional connection, a business connection, a business union, you know, partnership deal, you know, so always be building. So that's what you're doing. You're building. You're not destroying. So that's powerful. So we have. Uh, ready to love, open to the new. So someone is truly uh, feeling ready and prepared to, to love. They're open now to the new. So this is why they're rushing in because they feel like, you know, it, it, it's, it's uh, 
you know, it, it's now or never is what I'm picking up. You know, it's like now or never. They see you in your divine light. They see you as that divine feminine. And they want to scoop in and snatch you up before someone else gets the opportunity. We have the ancestors approved there, please. So they're pleased, you know, with this person that you have transformed into. With you knowing how to utilize your skills, gifts, and talents, with you co-creating, with you master manifesting, with you being that alchemist and creating the potions and elixirs to life, with you healing, you know, internally and externally to the point where you're now grounded, balanced, and in alignment. You have someone now that could see your light, your, your purity, see your beauty. You know, and so the ancestors are pleased with you, pleased with the process, pleased with the healing that you've done. It says you are unlike anyone I've ever met or dealt with. And this is why someone is now finally having that epiphany, that aha. They see you as someone who has persevered through some of the difficult, most difficult times. Even they've, you know, made things difficult and they're still just in awe. You know, I feel like this person is in awe. They're like, damn, you know, they're seeing you in a whole new light. They're seeing you overcome all of those hurdles, you know, just, just defeating the odds time and time again. And you've persevered and you've done so and with a smile, with grace, you know. And so we have no reciprocity, only take, take, take. And so this is what you was dealing with. A lot of people who was just coming around, you know, trying to take what you had because they saw you as someone, you know, very successful or very abundant. And they just felt like they could just come and take. Maybe you was dealing with people who were just using you, um, you know, just kind of greedy, wanting what you had, uh, trying to smile and beguile just to get a little piece of the pie because they knew you were empaths and you were very giving. But I feel like these were people that never invested anything. They just took. So I feel like now you're, you're, you know your worth and value. So you are not uh, going to be as giving as you were in the past, you know. So why is our creativity and the Queen of Pentacles here for the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? And then we're going to wrap it up. And we have Large Professor, main source here. This is called Breaking Atoms. Thank you, Spirit. And so we have talking because they have lips. See that? So somebody could be coming back talking. Because they have lips, maybe because they want a piece of the pie, maybe because they want to, you know, get in good with you because they literally see you being very successful. Uh, we got main source. So this could be the main person, that main person that broke your heart or the main person that caused a breakdown in the situation. Um, and we have bright future, infinite supply. So this person sees you're very successful. You know, they see that you're successful and maybe they're just saying anything to get into your good graces. You know, this is someone that literally just will just use words, words of spells, spells bind. So they, they could just use words uh, in a very bedazzling way um, to convince you that they change. They feel like you should be mothering them, like you should be taking care of them. So they may pay pull on your heartstrings because you are like that divine feminine. You are very loving and nurturing and maternal. Um, and they see you as very protective. So this is someone could be, you know, truly, maybe somebody's just trying to impress you, um, you know, because it says, you know, talking because they have lips, gossiping, ass food. Or maybe these are just some hating ass people, you know, that, that sees, like I said, that you're successful, uh, very protective, very maternal, very loving. Um, and you know, they're just, they're just talking because they have lips very jealous and with breaking atoms, I just feel like these people are just trying to break you down. Um, but you know, the divine sees all, so they're not going to be successful. Uh, someone's longing for you, missing you, yearning for you. And this is that same person that just wants your, your forgiveness. You know, they, they realize who they was dealing with. Um, they were dealing with a lot of demonic energy and they kind of miss your light. They miss your, your wise dome, your wisdom. So why is forgiveness and the five of swords here for my beloved Scorpios? And then we're going to wrap it up. And look at that. Happy house, happy spouse. With you, they had a happy house. And this came out with force. So they're unhappy. I feel like whoever they was dealing with, they unhappy. They trying to run away from that crazy deranged mofo. And they realize they had a happy and very healthy and very stable house with you. And... I feel like you, on the other hand, is like, I, I ain't settling. <laughs> like I said, they're going to come back and say all the, you know, the reasons as to why they did what they did. And I feel like, you know, they're going to even throw the, you know, that was the past. That was then. All that I could say is I'm sorry, but the divine is reminding you, look, do not settle. And they're also telling you, don't just take someone's words. 
You got to see change behavior. Maybe this person is still just an attention whore and wants to confuse you so that they can, you know, get in your good graces so they can get a couple of dollars so you can break them off a little something because they see you as very, very successful. This three creativity is like the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles clarifying that you're very successful. And it's because you've been keeping your mind on your money master and your craft and you've rebuilt you know what I'm saying? So this attention whore just wants some of your attention because you haven't been giving them any because you've been too busy grinding and busting your ass. They feel deeper than they let on. Yeah, sure. But this is only someone that plays the games. You know, this is not someone that's very reciprocal or someone that shows you. And we do not settle for less. I feel like the divine is saying you got to know your own worth and value. So that's why intuition is here. Um, the ancestors approve the process. They approve, you know, how far you've come. And so you can't let somebody like make you fall back into, you know, the trap of repeating a cycle um, that you just completed because we saw completion, karmic completion. So someone could be coming back trying to get you to, you know, to go right back on that merry-go-round of emotional roller coaster rides and, and technology. And I feel like you have to remember what you, you know, why you've uh, healed in the first place from what you've healed from in the first place. You know, you can forgive them all, but you don't have to forget. So this is your reading. I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I would like to give a beautiful shout out to one of my soul sisters that felt so uh, kind to bless me with a um, love donation. And I want to say thank you to the beautiful soul sister. Where are you? Where are you? Oh. And that is my soul sister, Vanita Burns. Thank you so much for that love donation. I appreciate you dearly. I appreciate and love you all dearly. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I hope that the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. It's love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Please do your Archangel Mikael love ritual this week, um, this day. You know, this is a perfect day to do it. So do it, do it, do it, and watch the blessings come in. Love you all. Peace, love, and light.